Hello, what is up guys? Welcome to part two of types of discounts. If you have not watched part one yet, I highly recommend that you first go on to part part one and then come right back to watching part two. I hope that uh, these these up above, these discounts up above from part one don't distract you. I've put like a little um, black hash mark line over here to kind of, um, you know, just separate the two. So first off, we're going to be discussing chain discounts. So a chain discount is effectively a series of percent discounts placed on an item or items. So the way that, um, and it's commonly used on items whose value deprecates quickly with time. An example of this would be a computer, right? With time, you see more technology coming out, right? You see better value computers, things like that. So after, um, so at first they'll pay the full price, but then after six months, they'll be like, okay, yep, this computer is, um, we have to start putting a discount on this computer. There's definitely better technology out there. We'll put a 10% discount. And after a year, they're like, okay, yep, there's definitely better technology out there. We'll put a 15% discount. And this 15% discount is going on top of this 10% discount. So if an item was say $1,000, $1,000, then it would be 900 after the 10% discount. And then you would do a 15% discount on the $900, which is 900, 900 times 0 0.85. And I'm not, I hope that you can read that. It's a bit small. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that math right now though. Um, and then you would have, and then after two years, the company's like, okay, uh, this computer is definitely lost. Um, it's definitely, um, has got much better options out there. We have to finish selling the computer just so we don't have wasted inventory. We'll do a 30% discount. So things like that. Obviously, there are other uses for chain discounts as well, but this is a common, common example. The next one is a volume discount, which is commonly referred to as a whole, uh, um, well, not commonly referred to, but is very similar to um, wholesale price. So basically, what a volume discount is is once a customer reaches a certain amount of sales volume during the measurement period, which is typically a year, a volume discount applies. This discount can be retroactive. So this means all preceding sales during measurement period. So the discount will occur on all preceding sales during measurement period. So if you have a measurement period of one year and then you reach the amount of sales in that one year, you will gain a retroactive discount on um, the sales um, for that year. So you'll get some money back on that sales or it may apply to all subsequent sales. Um, yeah. So it could apply, or it could be both. It could be retroactive and also applying to all subsequent sales. So um, you may see companies like Costco um, buy many items in this manner. They'll buy large inventories from companies um, where they'll get, um, where they can pay wholesale prices or volume discounts. And they'll sell those items um, at cheaper prices relative to what the um, brands are selling selling those items for, but uh, more expensive than what they bought it for so that they're still turning up a profit. So uh, yeah, that's a volume discount. Um, a lot of big box stores that have large supplies like Costco will do this kind of thing. I think Walmart also has a similar structure. Uh, free shipping, I'm not really, I didn't really write anything here just because I think we're all familiar with it, right? Um, some companies will give you free shipping um, if you buy a, if you spend a certain amount of money some uh, will do it if you have a coupon code, a discount code, things like that. Right, free shipping is pretty common. The last one that we're going to discuss is a seasonal discount. So seasonal discounts are frequently applied to things that fluctuate in... Wow, I was on my razor, sorry. Things that fluctuate in sales seasonally. So an example of this is a, um, a beach hotel. So let's say that we have a beach hotel. Beach hotel. So in winter months... In winter months, sales are going to be down. So in winter months, so in winter, we have lower sales and lower sales. And because we have lower sales in order to incentivize people to come during winter months, we also make prices go lower. We also put prices lower to incentivize people to, you know, come to our beach resort in winter months because we don't want just our beach resort standing there doing nothing. Then in summer months, especially over summer vacation, right? People have holidays, things like that. We will bring sales up. Sales go up. So in order to, you know, maximize our profit during this time, we'll also make our prices go up. Um, so yeah, those are a couple of very commonly used discounts that you're going to see. Um, important ones. This is not exhaustive. There are some more discounts out there. We have more on our Quizlet, um, which if you're watching this on YouTube, you can take a look at our website to find our Quizlet. Um, anyways, thank you for watching.